Ice Cream Cone Feelings. He gets pulled out of his arms and glared to his mom. He didn't understand as his anchor has come from, or how has it gotten so big? Jacob, his mother said softly, feelings are like big scoops of ice cream that get stacked up on an ice cream cone. Ice cream cone feelings is so amazing. It, it teaches in such a great, fun way that kids respond to and have responded to for years. It is a fun way for kids to learn that they can talk about how they feel and they can talk about the things that happen in their life that are not easy. When I started doing therapy and became a trauma specialist, I really felt the need to teach kids how to do this, to be proactive instead of reactive, to take this into schools and into communities and teach people how do we really help our children? How do we really make them know that they are of value, that they, that they have a voice and that they can speak? Kids learn how to talk. They learn how to tell you what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they need from you in a really great, easy way. We have partnered with amazing illustrators. They have taken the characters and brought them to life. They, they literally jump off the pages at you. You want to be engaged in the story. Your children will want to be engaged in the stories. And you just feel like you're a part of it then. And all of a sudden, Ice Cream Come Feel isn't really about ice cream, it's about me. It's about being able to talk about my feelings and say, this is what I'm feeling. This is, this is how I feel today. What I've witnessed with children in my own practice are when I'm talking to them about ice cream cone feelings and we start to talk about perceptions and realities, all of a sudden some things that they thought were really big deals aren't big deals anymore because they know how to identify the feeling and work through the feeling and say, well, I don't really feel that way or my parents don't really not like me. I just kind of was feeling frustrated at the time and then they're able to talk about that. Teaching kids how to talk about their feelings or teaching kids to talk about abuse, it's not easy. It's not, it's not something that we just walk in and kids are like, that's great, I want to hear about this. Kids are embarrassed and they're nervous too when we're talking about things. We need products that actually allow kids to have those things going on in their head, knowing that they then can talk about it, that there's safe ways, and more importantly, that there are people in the world that aren't afraid to talk about it that we're out here and we're willing to stand up for them. You get to do that when you partner with us. You get to stand up for a child, and that is so critical. We plan to take those pages, bring them to children across the world, producing great products for, for people to use, to teach, to educate with, but we can't do that without your partnership. We need your help. We need you to team up against child abuse to say, no more, we're not, we're not gonna do this anymore. We're gonna stop child abuse, and we're gonna stop it the right way. We're gonna teach children how to talk about it, how to identify what they're feeling, and to be able to say no. And in doing that, in teaming up with us and partnering with us, you've now kept one child safe. You've kept one child from being abused.